Japan's got a whole different scene, huh? Yeah. You know, uh, I'm good friends with Josh Barnett, and Josh Barnett does a lot of commentary for pro wrestling. Done, a, he's done a bunch of pro wrestling over in Japan, and it's like the feel of it in Japan is is so. That's why Pride got so big. The reason why Pride got so big is they had guys like Takata, who yeah. was like a big pro wrestling uh, champion over there, mm -hmm. who fought Hicks and Gracie in a real fight. Mm -hmm. So they their their pro wrestling over there was giant. Yeah, it was. Oh my God. Oh, when I was going over in the '70s and '80s, it was. Incredible. We had the two companies in all Japan, New Japan, Noki and Baba. It was huge. And Brody and Hanson were making, if I'm not mistaken, in the 80s, they were making like 15 to 20, maybe 25,000 a week a piece. Wow. And going over there 30 weeks a year. Wow. 30 weeks a year. What's it like partying in Japan? Party with the Yakuza? Rup Rup Rupungi, man. Unbelievable. What's it like? Oh, Joe. Tell me. <laughs> Talk to me. Can you, can you sing karaoke? <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> what was your go-to song? What would you sing over in Japan? I, I, I didn't sing. I just went in there and <laughs> talked to the girls. <laughs> wow. No suspicious minds on the jukebox? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No karaoke. Just the women serving the drinks. Man. It's 100 American dollars for a beer. You're in the right place. Is it really? It's almost. <laughs> Hell, it's $25 for a Diet Coke in Tokyo. Wow. Yeah, the bars over there are expensive. That's why you got to find the sponsors. Being the world champion, I always had someone who wanted to take me out. <laughs> and then there's Shinjuku, where all the uh, bathhouses are. That's a whole different story, too. What's that like? That's like walking the red carpet and getting a bath <laughs> with all kinds of candles around you, liquor, and <laughs> beautiful Japanese women. <laughs> did, you ever, did you ever have a night or a week or a month yeah, or they, something? They used, to, they, they used to say to me, Flair son, you want Korean barbecue or Shinjuku? Shinjuku, please. <laughs> Can I bring friends? <laughs> Was there ever a time where you were with so many women having so much fun? Was there ever a moment where you're like, man, maybe I should settle down a little bit. Like, this is a crazy day. No. <laughs> <laughs> there was not even a half a millisecond no, no. there. That's, there was not, no. oh, yeah, I can't Never, I kind of waste have, your time. I have, and... haven't that experience. Only when the ATM, when my ATM card ran out. <laughs> <laughs> So when you would go over there, how long would you stay in Japan for? <laughs> Only a week at a time. The longest I was there for, was for uh, 14 days. But uh, Japan's fun. But uh, Tokyo, the big cities are great. You know, the small towns, not so much, you know. Actually, when I started going in the 70s, there was still a little bit of hostility. Oh, towards oh, Americans? In the, yeah, in, in the small towns, for sure. Mm. And they wouldn't even let you in restaurants at night. So, oh. I mean, all that's gone now, but you know, that's a lot... For a lot, went, a, lot, a lot went down between us and them. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A few things happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you would go over there to, to wrestle, like, how would that work out? Did you, because th those guys, did they speak English? Did you just kind of, no. like, figure no. it out as you were wrestling? Figure it out, and the referee, you know, kind of go back and forth. And back then, you know, the, the, now, now the Japanese wrestlers aren't, in, like, there's a few of them, but in the old days, those guys were all tougher than shit, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was no kid you were just going to play around with. They were all rough. They wanted to prove themselves. They wanted to climb the ladder. It was a nightmare for me because I'm not, I'm not tough. I can do anything. You can beat me up. I'm just not. When I'm wrestling, Jumbo Ceruto was an Olympian. Uh, what year? 82 Olympian or 80 Olympian. It was a long night. German suplexes. Mm. You know, he was a Greco-Roman wrestler. So I'm not afraid of anything. I just can't. Too much with those guys. I saw a bunch of uh, videos of uh, Japanese pro wrestling that turns into an actual fight, <clears throat> yeah. whether you know it, it like they thought it was a work and it turns out to be a shoot. Mm -hmm. And you're you're seeing a guy recognizing like in the middle of the yeah. the match that this is an actual fight, and the guy beats the fuck out. Yeah, of the guy. yeah, they do. Yep. Wow. They, I don't know if they do it anymore, but they did. Yeah. See if we can find some of those because some of the, who did we was it Barnett that showed it to us? I think. But some of them are fucking absolutely brutal. Oh, yeah. Well, they're, 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 it's just basically like an MMA fight. The guy's soccer kicking the guy in the face and pounding on him. That's crazy. When you, <laughs> when you would go over there, if you were going to have a wrestling match with a, a Japanese pro wrestler, 
how did you know? Did you guys talk about it in advance, like who was going to win or yeah, how the person? Yeah, yeah. How would that work? You'd have the, the, the very few of them could speak uh, fluent. They under I think they understand you, but they can't talk. So, that, I mean, they understand our our language enough. Mm -hmm. But there's always a communicator, referee going back and forth. But you never know. It just yeah. I mean, I I had I had some great matches over there, and I had some they they looked okay, but they weren't good. Does that make sense? Because mm -hmm. I wasn't, I couldn't hang with the guys because I'm damn the good amateur wrestler. I just couldn't hang with. I mean, I wrestled in high school, state champion, and that stuff. But those kids over there are all they're. It's it's all they have. Those they're either going to make it to the big time or they're not. And then, you know, I suppose like anybody over here, if you don't make it doing that, what are you going to do?